I have SSD brass knuckles installed on my solid XO G Speed Element Enduro. The good news is that it also works on IFS. Welcome to Bixel Hobbies. Today I'm going to continue to add a bit more weight to my Element Trail Runner. The Enduro chassis is pretty light and provides a good articulation and stability with good weight distribution, especially with the IFS on the front. This makes it easier to get to the ideal weight distribution of 60% front and 40% rear than I'm looking for. The RTR came with licensed plastic beadlock wheels. Although good scale looking, they are a bit small and light and they do not provide enough weight to help with traction to really leverage the overdrive on our Enduros on steep climbs. So during my initial upgrades, I switched them out for metal alloy wheels with bigger size Proline KM3 and also added breast wheel weights to front wheels. Here are the wheels that I've been using. The wheels are just a bit heavier than the stock ones, but the wheel weights are pretty hefty. The additional weight especially to front end helped with traction, but it looked like trail runner can benefit from a bit more weight. I have SSD breast knuckles installed on my solid XO G Speed Element Enduro. The good news is that it also works on IFS. So I'll be adding some additional weight to the front with the SSD brass knuckles to my trail runner. I'll put the links to the products in the description below. Here's everything that comes with the SSD brass knuckles. Very nice looking knuckles, bearings and hardware. As expected, quality material from the SSD. Couple of things to note. SSD comes with new outer bearings, but you will need to reuse the old inner bearings from the trail runner. Also, in the knuckle kit, there are two different length screws. This is pretty easy upgrade, so let's get started. The SSD breast knuckles are the same, so they can be used on either side. Use the short screw that came with the knuckle to mount
Here's the Element Trail Runner with the SSD press knuckles installed. They should add good amount of unsprung weight down low to the front. I also made some slight modifications to the rear shock setup. I drooped the rear shocks by installing IRC shock key, which lowers the ride height. I would normally mount the shock key to maximize the droop setup, but it lowered the back way too much compared to the front. So I ended up mounting the shock key flip down to even out the ride height with the front. Also, I noticed during the climbs, the rear was giving out a bit too much. So in order to stiffen the rear a bit more, I swapped out the rear springs to yellow springs, which should stiffen up the rear end and help with the climbing. One last change you probably have noticed is that I flipped all four shocks with the reservoir side down to lower the cog. With all the top heaviness, it probably won't matter much at all, but I figure every bit will help. I can't wait to test out the difference. If you found the information helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click on the like and the subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Bixon Hobbies.